G'day there, you're watching the Aussie BIM Guru and you've reached part six of my Python quick tip series. And today we're gonna to be looking at a really important thing in Python, which is if statements, um, really handy for managing your scripts. So if is a pretty much a common thing to most programs and programming languages. It typically revolves around the concept of providing a condition of if, and then, then and else. So you have a true outcome and a false outcome. So it looks a little bit like this. So based on a Boolean, if it's true, you'll get your then, and if it's false, you'll get your, your else. So this also applies in Python with the if statement. So the syntax is relatively simple. Um, you just call out the keyword if, and then a space, and then your condition, which is gonna need to yield a Boolean. So it can either just be a Boolean, or it can be a statement that generates a Boolean, such as checking if something equals something else. And then you'll need a colon, um, I think I actually called this a semicolon in a previous video, so apologies if that was confusing anyone. It's a colon. Um, and then you need to tab in your then, which is what happens if it's true. A new line um, without a tab with else and a colon, and then the final line, which is your else result with a tab. Obviously these then and else results can be more than one line. They can be something that generates an outcome. So it could be a whole bunch of things that generate a print, for example. So it could look a little bit like this. So let's say we've got a value of zero and we're checking if the remainder is, is uh, divisible by two essentially. So if there's no remainder when you divide by two, um, we wanna make sure whether the value is even or odd is our outputs. So we're printing value is even when it's then or true and we're printing value is odd when it's else or false. And you can see that when we run it on zero, technically zero divided by two is zero or has a remainder of zero. So in this case, the value is technically even. Um, so if you ran it on two, four, six, obviously it would work. If you ran it on one, three, five, you'd get value is odd because it's false. We can also nest if within if. So you can see that we can always chain from an else. We can call it an else if instead. So we can say, if true, then this, otherwise, if true, then this, and you can keep going deeper and deeper. So it looks a little bit like this. We call it the L if uh, uh, statement, but it's a else if essentially in, in expanded terms. But if you, in, instead of saying else straight after you get your then statement, you say L if, you can essentially keep adding more conditions. So after the LF, we have to put a condition. I've actually, I think I've missed that here, but it does need a condition as well, where the else doesn't, the else is, if everything else isn't true, then this. So it looks a little bit like this. So it's similar to what we had before, um, but I've expanded my statement to check if it's divisible by two. Else if is it divisible by three, otherwise not divisible by two or three. So you can see that that else if gives us the option to add a few outcomes within a single if statement. Um, you can see here, likewise, if I feed in a value that's not divisible by two or three, it goes to the else, which is not divisible by two or three. However, if I feed in something that satisfies the L if, you can see that it stops at that point and gives us the divisible by three return. There's also a shorthand for if statements that puts it onto a single line. It's important to note that you really only typically wanna do this for something that's very short. So this is if your then, else, or your condition are all quite small, so that when you write it on a single line, it still fits. Um, this can make your script a bit lighter and easier to read once you know Python a bit better. Um, but I find typically most users don't tend to use the shorthand if. I use it a little bit in some cases. You can see here, it gets a little bit long, but I can basically simplify my if function into a single line. So I put, um, put my then first, if, and then my condition, uh, and then else and my else outcome. So it's basically reading like this, if this is true, else, this, if it's false. So it sort of reads a bit more like an if statement in this, in this order, uh, but just keep in mind that's an option. So hopefully that helps you start playing with some if statements and applying them uh, to what you do. Um, in the next one, we're gonna be looking at error handling using the try accept statement. And then beyond that, we're gonna be moving on to iterating. And we're gonna apply some of these statements in the context of iterating at the end of our series as well. So hopefully you found that useful and you find if statements useful in Python. Um, I certainly do. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video and thanks for watching and take care, bye.